The ultimate first world problem, I think, is this. Right. Just imagine this, picture this scene. You've all been there. You've had a long day at work. And you get to the end of the day, so tired, so tired. You get home. And maybe you make, like, should we go for a drink? You're like, oh, I don't really want to, but you do. And then suddenly it's half one. You think, how's this happened? <laughs> You've got to be up at six. You think, why have I done this? You go upstairs with your heavy legs and your heavier eyes and you open your bedroom door and you turn the light on. And only then do you realise and remember you stripped the bed that morning, didn't you? <laughs> it's the same reaction as coming home and finding someone dead. It's the same, same, same sense of loss. We could just sleep on the bare mattress. I'm not an animal! <laughs> I don't even know what some of those stains are on that mattress. How <laughs> does dribble go that colour? <laughs> I've not even eaten any what's it since I was 12. <laughs> Pillar's ruined. <laughs> oh, it's nasty, that, isn't it? Nasty. I think that first world problem, coming home and finding no bedding on your bed, I think that's so bad, even if you met someone in the third world and told them, they'd understand. Like, it's that... <laughs> well, I've not got a bed, but if you had one, that'd be a right shitter, huh? <laughs> So, now, before the show, uh, I asked you guys to write down your own first world problems, and, uh, and I've got them here. Uh, obviously, I can't read them all out. I've had to forward some of them on to the police. Uh, so... <laughs> There's some proper nutters in this room. <laughs> okay, let's have a little look through some of these. If you hear your name, do give yourself uh, a cheer. That's always uh, that's always good. Um, some people are just horrible as well. That's what I like. Richard, old people being allowed to go to the supermarket on a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you nasty get. Horrible. <laughs> When my boyfriend has a poo and doesn't clean the toilet, he claims, I'll come back and piss it off later. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sweet one. When I share chocolate or sweets and people accept, inside it makes me hate them. <laughs> uh, Adam Corner. On row H, seat 21. Uh, Adam says, when people squeeze the toothpaste tube from the top. Yes, Adam. Finally, someone dealing with the issues, my friend. <laughs> Good lad. Uh, uh, walking into a spider's web and turning into a ninja. <laughs> Is that you? What's your name, my love? What's your name? Stacy. Stacy. Right. You're wandering along. Just because some people don't get it, that's all. Walking along, Stace, and you walk into a spider's web, Stace, and then you turn into a ninja. Let's have a look. One. Yes, Stace! I love it! Love it! I love it, fair play. Well, this made me laugh. Breastfeeding your child in public and forgetting to put your tit back in. <laughs> Are you on the end there? God bless you. Right, stand up. <laughs> what? No, it's a 15. It's a 15 certificate. We don't want any of that. This is a classy one. Waking up with a random and can't find your knickers. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. I love Liverpool. I really do. I love it. <laughs> Who wrote that one? <laughs> you, sir. <laughs> That was him in the blue shirt there, saying me. <laughs> Give him his moment, because that was good timing. <laughs> Look at me and say me again. Good lad, that's how that works. 
Rankin losing a joke just because he wasn't there in time. Fuck that. <laughs> We all know it happened, that's the main thing. <laughs> Helen G5. Helen, I love this. This is brilliant. Only having 20 minutes to get over to Lime Street to buy some wine at Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> is that what you did in the interval? <laughs> I'm not paying these prices, I'm off out. <laughs> I love it, well played. That's legendary, isn't it? Uh, this is uh, Mikey Ferguson on D47. Where are you, Mikey? He's over there. He's over there. That's Mikey in the, in the, in the red tie there. Mikey says, I look a bit like Michael McIntyre. People get disappointed when it's not him. It's just me. <laughs> just stand up and come out here, my friend. I love it. Come right up here. I want you to come right up. Mikey, just cut right across there. Let's come right through. We're gonna do it. We'll do a Mackin set. Look, he's gone for it! He's gone for it! I love it! I'm back again, Mikey! This is your moment! <laughs> what a legend! Two and a half thousand people, not bothered. Love it. Good lad, have a sit down, Mike. <laughs> Funny. I've done this before. Jen on seat 19, no row. Jen's just seat 19. Jen says, when you're on your phone and you start looking for your phone, but then you realise you're on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find my phone, I don't know where it is. I like that one. This person thinks I'm an idiot. <laughs> so I've left this one in. When people don't indicate, and then in brackets they put, when driving. So thanks. <laughs> oh dear. Siobhan, this is quite a female specific one. This will leave every boat going, I don't know what's happened here. <laughs> the awkward moments when it's silent in the toilets and the girls' toilets and you're wondering who is going to wee first. <laughs> is that what you do? <laughs> Why? What are you doing? <laughs> that was literally a female only laugh there. Every bloke was going, oh, brilliant. Just add something else I don't know about them. Nice one. <laughs> what are you doing? Just sat there, just like crossing your legs like that. <laughs> tinkle, tinkle. <laughs> just... <laughs> we will never get to the bottom of that. We really will. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>